today I'm going to show you how to power this and LED without a battery. How are we going to do this? With a motor. So how are we going to do this? Well, we could easily use a solderless breadboard like this one, but for demonstration purposes I'm going to use this small little extension cord I got from a laptop. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug the LED pins into this extension cord nice and tight, just like that. And then on the other side, we're going to plug in our motor. Now that I soldered two leads to the motor, and you're done. So now all you have to do is spin the motor, and we'll see what happens. And the LED is lighting up. Now if you wanted, you could hook up a bunch of little LEDs on a breadboard or solder them together um, to the motor, spin it, and they all light up. Now we can solder everything together. I'll start by stripping the leads. Now, it's time to solder. Now we're done. So, now you have an LED driven by a motor. What good is that? Well, you could put it on a bike tire so that whenever you go out biking at night, you have a light to see. It doesn't require batteries that you have to change or it doesn't require the sun and a solar panel. That's great. Or you could hook it up to a loud siren and instead of an LED and put it under your door so that when the door opens or closes the siren would go off. Makes a great alarm system. You can do pretty much anything you want as long as you imagine it first. Hmm. 